pretty what good is, at that. What is the most L filled show for? I have an answer in my head, and I don't think any of you. My say left it. Like, foot. The most L filled show or movie, <laughs> preferably show like where nothing good ever happens. It's always brutal, terrible, my left and unsafe. Foot. The, you know, the Daniel Day Lewis, Daniel Day Lewis movie. I haven't seen he, it, but you've told me about has, it enough. Uh, I, I think, think I know it. I think it's cerebral palsy or something. I don't know my like not really retarded, but when I was a kid, we called him retarded diseases. Mm -hmm. But he has one of those where like he can't. He he only has access to his left foot, but he's mentally all there. And so the whole movie, you know, he's dealing with that while being a genius. You know, he, he's mm -hmm. he's not just like you're some schmo who can only use his left foot. He's this incredibly like emotional and uh and intelligent and artistic man he, he's painting and writing with his left he paints with a paintbrush he types with his fucking toes and shit and he like he's like trying to make this woman love him and he's all like yeah won't you love me and she's like fuck <laughs> damn that does sound just yeah. awful his father thought he was retarded uh so he was just left on the floor to lay there while the other children were educated and and doted on and such until a piece of chalk rolled across the floor and he managed to clutch it with his little toe and like finish a math problem or some shit that they were learning over there. And, and there's a scene where like his dad runs him into the bar and is like, this is my boy. But it's like, yeah, dude, but he, <laughs> See, I'm familiar with that from the parody from the fan, from family guy. <laughs> That's how yeah, I'm familiar yeah. with that one. Yeah, it's, it's real sad. There's no, I, there's no upside to that movie. At the end, it gets better. Uh, I don't yeah, have a good it. one. I, I, no country for old men. Lots of L's. All, everyone, you know, Woody Harrelson comes in. He's supposed to be the that guy's equal. He's not. That just no. That's a pretty good one, honestly. It's all about yeah. like everybody. Yeah, definitely not everybody calling it bad. bad. Oh yeah, the bad guy good, wins. Good the bad guy yeah, lives. Javier Bardem rides off in the sunset. Uh, yeah, the and, good guy uh, cowers, kind of. Yeah, just decides mm -hmm. to. I think he, if my understanding is he sees the bad guy in the doorknob's reflection or something like that, and just is like, you know what? fuck being a cop this is too dangerous and he bugs out and retires sort of happens like that yeah because javier bardin was hiding in that room and tommy lee jones is just mm -hmm. on the outside of the door but i think of um what's his name is the main character ellis or whatever his name was he was running with a bag of money the whole time um mm -hmm. yeah it's a real downer everyone too. dies and tommy yeah. lee jones lives but he just he has the he's in the like last scene of the movie where he's basically saying i just don't know this world's passed me by and they just sit in that trailer and just uh, basically agree that like, I can't even be a cop anymore. Cause like, I'm not prepared for the evil that's out there. Like, yeah, it's my most of so show. Good. That's my example. Great movie. I, I love it. It was bad. Just filled. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. The lady dies. Like, like he <clears> killed <throat> them all. That heads tail guy. He died, right? No, he rides away in the sunset. He has a little car accident at the end. He, he gives no, no, no. The, cash. I'm not talking about the main guy, the, the cashier, gas station person, attendant, the gas yeah. station attendant. Mm -hmm. Sure, he, he lives. lives. I don't know if they ever show. Does he live? He might. Yeah, he I don't does. remember he, how the... he guessed the coin right, and he's like, oh, okay, hey, okay. and, and uh, it let him live. That's one of but, the best uh, scenes in any movie. Like that's one of my once, favorite scenes. Uh, that bolt tool that he used, he made it look so useful. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. god, it picks <laughs> locks. It kills Done people. Perfectly <laughs> <still>. <laughs> yeah. I think I liked his shotgun. I think he had mm -hmm. a Remington 1100 with a suppressor on it when he walked into the uh, the hotel room and shot those Mexicans up. And I just I can always picture that scene where he points it at the guy's face and then reaches and grabs the shower curtain and slowly slides it over so he's not going to get hit with a blast. And then he, and they're going to tink and just blood. That was a, that was a cool, that was some cool shit. He shoots that um, guy guy's arm off when he's reaching for the gun. Just complete, that? and it, it, yeah. it that's what a shotgun would do to your arm mm -hmm. at close range. It just cripple it and mangle it up so it's not usable mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah, it yeah. was good. It's great. I'm, pretty, movie. I'm, I'm feeling good about my L filled show. What that else is a good got? one. What, what, what's an L filled show or movie, Vito? Uh, did you guys ever watch Bojack Horseman? I've seen a few episodes, it. probably a season of it when it first came out, but that's about it. Oh man, I one flew it. over cuckoo's nest. That's it. I, so, I don't, I'll never watch that again. I'm gonna win this one. <laughs> Uh, mm. did you have any other examples on that one, Vito? No, that was my one, and no one else has seen the show. So, yeah, but <laughs> does the horse have like borderline like a, personality disorder or something? It's all he's about like, like dude, he's a he's a washed up TV actor, and then things keep going wrong, and everyone he knows keeps dying, and he keeps fucking up his career. Uh, it's actually a really good show. I highly mm -hmm. recommend. Uh, that's actually one of the best animated programs. God, I can't think of, in, in a long time. There's nothing else. Do you like good Invincible? Like, yeah, I do like Invincible a lot. Uh, so I did enjoy that. 
Well, I, if I'm it's uh, next season of that. Bojack Horseman, I have not. I have seen Dude, enough memes of it that it's like I know it's L filled with with him being depressed and sad all the time. I don't think. I, I think you if you, I, I think if you aggregate all three of yours together, you might get five percent as bad as mine, which is the, the television show Blues. Oz. Oh, Oz Man. wins! Oz wins. There is no show more fucked, more negative. There's not nothing good happens to <laughs> anyone. Have you seen Oz? You know, <laughs> the first HBO show that was. Made I watched the, the first season, but I never finished the whole thing. Let me tell you. So you know how people that. like talk about how Game of Thrones, like my God, that first season, Ned, no one was yeah. safe. No one yeah. was safe. That Ned Stark, my no God. Now safe. imagine how intense it would have been, Game of Thrones fans, if <laughs> Sean Bean had been thrown in the Lannister prison. And then within this is this is 15 minutes into episode one, he's being <laughs> molested by a Westeros Nazi having a oh swastika God. tattooed on his asshole. The as, Lord of my, as the owns as the pussy now, yeah, boy. As the uh, <laughs> as whatever that actor's name is from the State Farm commercials and that movie about drumming where he's too intense of a fucking like leader, he's like, I'm the king Nazi. I'm the number one Nazi. And he's like all about yeah, it's Schillinger. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's. I'm trying to think of one good thing that happens in oh, that my entire. Story about that, right? There's so, one guard that like they start. I know happy, it's they, about there's, me, isn't it? there's one one like, <laughs> little storyline in Oz where they're like, oh, this guard like he's having a baby. There's a little bit of life oh, injected into it, oh. and then a crazy prisoner blinds him in both of his eyes for no reason. There's for two no prisoners <laughs> in the show that become friends. I think even lovers. And uh, it's like, at last, something's going well. Like, this guy who always loses is a bit of a power couple. And then they yank the rug out from under him. Yeah, God damn. Dude, yeah. The dude, story was, got you know, that this guy, this guy who was raped by the Nazis in day one and finally mm. gets a little revenge and is trying to put his, like, in-prison life back together. The Nazi guy gets so pissed, some other uh, Nazi guy comes in and is like, hey, I want you to pretend to be this guy's buddy and fucking get real close to him like for months and he like makes this other man fall in love with him teaching him how to wrestle <laughs> to Great defend man. himself and the way it ends is during the wrestling practice the guy reveals i've been fooling you the whole time and he holds him down in the gym while the nazis break both of his arms and both of his legs yeah Jesus fucking christ here's my favorite scene here's <laughs> my favorite awful. scene the white supremacist gets some sort of i don't know what happens to his gums he loved him. but he needs a gum <laughs> transplant and he has like a mouth gum? cancer like his teeth gums yeah, okay. he has mouth cancer yeah and he has yeah. to get his gums and the doctor sees that he's a nazi and the doctor's black so he puts black people gums on him. He's like, give me them black people gums. And so the Nazis, so the so the white friends kick him out because he's got black people gums. So he tears him and like fuck him, like rape him, make him their bitch. So so he like tears his own new gums out, so his mouth's all bloody and disgusting. Oh. I finished the I finished. Which person is this? This is the guy who gets his dick bitten off he's, by Beecher earlier. Yeah. Yeah, he's the guy who who Beecher like uh bit his cock. He's the big like first lieutenant of the Nazi uh oh, Harry boys. Dude, I finished the show and then I got arrested and <laughs> and and then they're like, yeah, you're probably going to prison. You don't worry though; it'll be a couple years before we get yeah. to sentencing. I, I'm just like, <laughs> Dude, if you, you want to watch a show that that makes you feel like my life is pretty great, yeah, watch yeah. Oz. No, at no <laughs> point. Going okay. You remember no the finale? Okay. Oh my god, that last ending. Uh it it's a uh, dude. It's there a are a lot of show. shows that I'm like, hey, don't watch that. You're wasting your time. This one is painful. You'll you'll leave less than you went in. <laughs> it, it will only take from you. It'll give nothing. It'll right only take from you. It's it will only it'll take. put a scare into you if you think about doing some borderline illegal shit. You're like, I don't know about these taxes. I'm paying up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about these taxes. I'm adding a little extra in there for you, Uncle Sam. Because like, you've had a few too many. You're thinking about driving. I'm like, nope, not tonight. Let's sleep on the floor. You know what? Let's let's sleep on the ground. <laughs> Whatever it takes. No, because that guy was in for a DUI. He like DUI manslaughtered some people, yeah. and uh, the judge threw the fucking book at him because I think he killed kids. And mm -hmm. uh, then and then he, you know, he's tortured for five seasons of Oz, and then he dies. Jeez. And it's like, I mean, he, as his as he's in there, he's like being attacked and like killing and assaulting people, and so it's just a constant thing of like, oh, that original five years, it's ten now. 
Now it's yeah. not that. Now it's not ten. Now it's twenty. Now it's, it's like, yeah. You should so, watch yeah. Oz. You'll hate it. There's a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> I never. No, it's entertaining. The, it's really entertaining. I never finished The Wire either. Like, there's a lot of these HBO mm. shows that are like, season, two can, yeah. season two can. Season two can be a downer for a lot of people. It, it uh, a lot of people dislike season two and the final season, but this sound a little like I'm being real choosy and picky now. But seasons one, three, and I think four are very, very good. Mm. Uh, but one is killer. I love The Wire. Uh, but but when I watch it, the second season, I I don't care about those white characters, all those Polacks living down on the docks. Yeah, don't care about the problems. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want in the drug gang. I want to know a uh, game. I want to know what Weebay yeah. and the boys are doing. What 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 uh, Marlo's up to? Uh, no, that's a, that's a good fucking show. Uh, uh, I watched. Um, I, I think I'm just gonna keep siding with the villains. Like, like, okay. like what what what's the movies where where the villain wins? Where the bad guy just out and out is victorious at the end. Because when I watched that all quiet on the Western front movie, I was cheering for the French when they showed up with flamethrowers and, and tanks. That was, I think that was supposed to like really gut wrench you when all of his, when his friend dies and gets killed with a flamethrower and all those people get burned alive. And I was, I was literally like, it was all, it wasn't quite as good, but it was close to when captain America, like cinched up that leather thing on the shield and was like, yeah. Avengers assemble. But it was the Ugh. French burning all those German fuckers alive. Don't you? Oh, I cried at that. Okay. Ugh. Well, there's all those awful dun, World dun, War II movies dun, dun. where the where the Allies win. And that's <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> you back there, didn't I? Come on, <laughs> you, you got me back. <laughs> Whoa! Damn! I hope Captain America and French can pull this one out. <laughs> <laughs> they lost in the previous film. They did, man. And the one Whoa. before that. How did they handle the end of the series with like all those heroes being dead for good? They, ooh, I mean, oh, nothing mattered. <laughs> I have a no, movie they're where dead. the villain wins. You know, that's Iron good. Man's dead. Black Widow's like dead, dead. Like they're gone. Iron Man died. Black Widow died. Captain America essentially died because he went back in time and quit life. None of these are that big of a deal so far. They're the main group. <laughs> these they are the only main Iron Man can be replaced by anyone characters. with the with the suit. Uh, Captain America can be replaced by anyone. Who's a good leader? They did. They found a uh, a diversity hire to play Captain America. Um, they they stayed in house. Okay. Yeah. Um, and they gave him his own Disney Plus series, and it called. Um, I don't his know, costume sucks so his much. Costume, it blows. It looks so he looks like a firework display. Get the fuck out of here. Is it still Captain? He, he looks like a bomb pop. America. His name's Captain America. <laughs> which is, bomb pop. Uh, they have he, like this he half Hawkman? helmet, but then it's he like was, cut uh, off. The top. He was Falcon. 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 You racist. They should promote I have a movie <laughs> major that the bad guy the wins. Seven. We need to acknowledge Seven <laughs> and how gr great the it was. Bad the Brad Pitt wins. movie, What's True. in the Box. Bad guy wins? Yeah. I think that is that's better than any I thought of. I, I was really struggling to think Silence of Silence the where. Lambs is kind of uh, I don't know. Hannibal wins. Well, Hannibal gets out. No, in, in Silence of the Lambs, he's... Well, yeah, I guess he gets he's out. Not Buffalo Bill the is villain, killed, though. but he's like the side villain. Hannibal Buffalo Lecter. Bill was the hero because he was just, you know, just torturing that poor woman, great, which was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great, <laughs> Would you fuck me? Buffalo Bill just wanted to dance me. and wear, wear women's skin. What's wrong with that? A lot of trans Nothing. people Nothing. are not a fan of Nothing. that movie because the whole... The, the deal is that Buffalo Bill is transsexual real. and it's he's trying real. to become a woman. Mm. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, but he's a serial killer. Well, well I think if he killer. could get, if he could take an offense at the non-serial killing part of him. Well, no, 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 no. That's the worst thing about it. No, I think trans people don't care for the representation, Taylor. You, you misread me. Oh. They don't. Well, I mean, yeah. if that's what Buffalo Bill is, you got to represent him as that man. Well, I feel like if you were to put Hannibal Lecter shit on your Tinder profile, it'd be a test of how good looking you really are, right? Like. If you just like, put on there that you get to kill women and wear their skin and dance around and shit like that, and that's dating I on hard mode. I thought you meant mode. trying to get laid as Anthony Hopkins. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he no, was no, a no. handsome man in his time. Oh, he's still he, a distinguished yeah, the early fifties. I like this. That idea. would be playing Tinder on hard <laughs> mode, though. Like, if you wanted to do like comedy pictures, like do the full like dick between your legs, like dun dun. <laughs> 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 Dun, dun. <laughs> you fuck me. <laughs> I don't fuck, fuck me. Dun, dun. I fuck me hard. Dun, dun. <laughs> Is that, that your rendition of Goodbye Horses? That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going dun dun. dun. I don't remember. <laughs> I swallow all my sins. 
is. You yeah, see, so Vito close. would be selling it. You got your. <laughs> You <laughs> horses. That's a great song. I just remember that. Yeah. <laughs> you just go and dun dun. That's all I remember. <laughs> dun, dun. I can't remember the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hannibal Lecter wins. Uh, I think in uh, Red Dragons, the first one maybe, and then Silence no, of the Lambs, one. and then Hannibal. Oh yeah, as far I think as that's the deal. Yeah, I think that's the order. I read the men, um, and uh, and he just gets away. He just leaves. Uh, I think he think he loses his hand and uh, yeah. in, in the end he, has he to does cut a little it off. good. It does a little good through the series, you know, getting rid of Buffalo Bill. But then he I have does a lot more movie. killing. I was writing that one. Just Where's anything it? for a candy bar? <laughs> <laughs> I have another I movie where the character. protagonist loses, but I'm going to need help coming up with the name. It probably won an Oscar. It's a highly regarded movie. It's about a female boxer, and in the end, she hits million dollar baby. Million dollar baby. baby. I haven't seen it, but I knew that. <laughs> we all got that. Hillary Swank, Clint Eastwood, and uh, old black man that everyone likes, Morgan Freeman. Wait, the mm. bad guy wins in Million Dollar Baby, the boxing movie? Doesn't no, lose? there is no bad guy. She oh. dies at the end on the stool, oh, wait, right? you're right, Woody. Holy shit. Damn. Is that, can someone tell me, that's the one where she, like the meme, she falls yeah, and she breaks gets, her neck yeah. on the stool. She doesn't and... fall. She gets like cheap shotted by this big Mexican bitch. And hits her neck on the stool, paralyzes her, and then Clint Eastwood euthanizes her in the hospital room. And I thought it was out. about boxing. It is. She, <laughs> she's a great boxer. That's what happens to her, though. She, instead Second of like, best. Dun, 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 it's beep. Dude, this should have been in the L conversation. That's beep. sad. That's it that. is. <laughs> well, the bad guy wins. That Mexican dyke. Yeah. Like. And then at the end, that scene where, where Clint Eastwood is talking to the empty stool. Yeah, that's funny. Fuck right. you for killing my daughter or something. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I sound like, Clinty, that's oh, me, Clinty Sweat. I guess it's cheating to pick like a non-fiction um, like movie, like Richard Jewell. Which is another Clint Eastwood film, by the way. You know the story of Richard Jewell, 1996 he Olympics. The Olympics. He's guy, the yeah. guy who found the fucking bomb. He was security guard. He's like, I found the bomb. Everybody get out of here. And they were like, oh, my God, Richard Jewell, you just saved everybody. Except they didn't do that. They said, we think you planted it, actually. And they like ran his name up the flagpole, shit on him on the nightly news for months, ruined his reputation, and he saved everybody. He saved everybody. He, dozens could have died. At Did least, die? you know. Like, what? did he, he die? die? Did he kill himself? No, no. Like, he, I don't know the story. I, no, there's a whole movie about it. They <laughs> ruined his reputation is what happened. Like, like okay. ruined it. I wonder how he's doing now that we know. Probably much you better that there's a, a movie. Bit better out. about it? Yeah. Uh, I would be sour, but I guess getting a Clint Eastwood movie made about you, and I'm sure he got some something from that. You know, I'm, he was at least an advisor or something. He got a little cash. Oh, well, that's got to be nice. How long but he's got did a they good book? accuse him of it before weeks, they came out and weeks. were like... Oh, they, never, they never were like, oh, we're so fucking sorry. That didn't happen. Oh, so they just never set ridiculous. up to distribute money. I bet he didn't get that much. Seems like Clint like, would take care of him, right? I think Clint probably I, kicked him a couple of bucks. I bet Clint's a good guy. He's a conservative. I could be he's wrong. old I school. Know. He did he's cocaine. Old. Anytime there are like publishers in power, books, movies, whatever, you think... They're set up to make like musicians and actors and writers rich, but they're not. They're set up to make executives rich. And all those other people just paid as little as they can be. Hmm. I yeah. um, I don't know. We could uh, find out. Find out if Richard Jewell got got Did screwed Richard over or not. Jewell <clears throat> get any money? You would hope his chunky ass brand. would get a little cash out of it. He's a beefy boy. Um, I felt so sorry. Uh, I couldn't watch the movie. I I don't like. Well, he did get two million dollars like in settlements from the uh, various news organizations. That tax deductible. Sued. Do you have to pay taxes on that? Is what I mean. Not deductible. Uh, do you have to pay yeah, taxes it's, on that? It's, it's income if you win settlement. a lawsuit. Yeah, are you sure? I, I I would think so. How would it not be? If it was a federal settlement, what if he's settling with like a federal agency for, or, or some, I don't know who he was suing though, probably libel against him, a newspaper or something. Jewel died of diabetes in 2007. So <laughs> told he was chunky. Whole, he got paid for the movie. <laughs>